Getting in shape is simple, even if you're in really bad shape right now. So watch this video. I'm going to give you four really nice tips that include a, a simple morning routine and a simple workout that you can do every two to three days that are going to put you on a path to total fitness. Stay tuned. Okay, well, let's start with the morning routine. It's one of the easiest things that you can do. So here's just a simple way to start your day to get you started on a good path. There's, there's three components to this morning routine. One of them is breath work. Um, I'm gonna put a link in my description to uh, a video by Wim Hof. It's uh, just a pretty good, easy, simple, takes you about five minutes, 10 minutes, First thing in the morning, before you even get out of bed, you can do this. If you've got your phone laying beside your bed, you can turn on the Wim Hof video and just follow along. And basically, you're doing a, some breathing, some deep breathing exercises that put oxygen in your body, really over oxygenate your blood, and there's some tremendous health benefits to that. Second thing that you should do first thing in the morning along with that breathing exercise is stretch. Um, lots of good videos, including in my channel, there's videos on specific stretches that you can do, but basically just stretching out your body, stretching out your upper torso, stretching out your back, stretching out your legs, particularly your legs, because those seem to be the ones that get the stiffest as time goes on. And get a good stretch in in the morning. It'll set up your day for a lot more freedom of movement. You'll be able to get around better and you'll just feel better because it starts your blood circulating a little bit better. Third thing is if you take a morning shower, when you're done with your lathering up and soaping and all the hot part of your shower, just turn that handle over to cold and try to stay in there for as much as three minutes. The reason, there's a couple great health benefits to that. One is it releases heat shock proteins that are beneficial to your overall health. But the main thing that it does is it trains your mind to do something that you don't want to do because nobody really wants to do nobody wants to turn that water to cold you're all warm and toasty and feeling good nobody really wants to turn it to cold but by doing that you, you've taken your first step towards the most difficult part of getting in shape and that's overcoming the your own mind the obstacle of not wanting to do something difficult because workouts are difficult so those three parts of your morning routine the stretch the breathing exercise and the cold shower that's your morning routine so now let's move on to the next thing nutrition i'm going to keep this as simple as possible just don't eat processed foods just try to stay away from hyper palatable processed foods, fast foods, that kind of stuff. Work on making the bulk of your diet natural foods, foods that are that are in that nature intended you to eat. <clears throat> you know, reduce yourself now if you're a vegetarian, just eat fresh vegetables. Don't think that potato chips are on the vegetarian list just because they're 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 vegetables they're they're hyper processed hyper palatable and they will cause you problems the stuff that's in them is bad for you so just work on basically making your diet as much natural food as you can possibly incorporate into it and leave out all the processed stuff simple 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 now let's get on to the workout so the work for the workout i'm going to show you one exercise that you can do and I recommend you try to do about 30 reps of this exercise and as you get stronger increase the weight that you use rather than increasing the reps because it the the more weight you're using the more beneficial it is towards building muscle mass which is an important part of growing old in a healthy manner because you lose muscle every year after about age 30 you start losing a little bit every year and unless you do something to counteract that and this is one way you can counteract that and even build muscle in the process so this is not a an easy exercise but it is very simple and if you do if you set a goal to do 30 of these every two to three days um, you won't spend a lot of time working out but you will work out your entire body and you will work it out with resistance so you'll benefit from the resistance exercise as well as cardiovascular because this really works up your heart rate and your breathing so 
Here's the exercise, man maker. Oh, and by the way, you can do this, if you don't have weights, you can do this, get a couple empty gallon jugs of water, fill them up with water, they weigh a little over eight pounds, and that's a good place to start. And then as you, as you can afford to or whatever, increase the weight, find a bigger something that you can pick up to do this exercise with. So it's a simple exercise. You see I've got dumbbells sitting on the ground in front of me, and this is the starting position. And we're just going to go through the steps. I'm going to do five of these, and I'll speed up the clock so that you don't have to watch me do all five of them, but you're going to see how it works. But it's a simple, I'm going to do it slow to begin with, so you see how to do it. You go down, grab your dumbbells or milk jugs, whatever you have, kick your legs out, so you're in a push-up position. Do a push-up. If you can't do it like that, do it on your knees. It's an easier way to do it. Once you've done the push-up, pull one of them up as a dumbbell row. Do another push-up. Do another row. Hop your legs in. Pick up the dumbbells. Stand up. An overhead press. And then a curl. And then back down. You'll notice as I'm standing up and going back down, I'm not bending over and standing up and then using my back to stand up. I'm using my legs to stand up, keeping my back as vertical as possible. So keep that in mind. That's the basics of the maneuver. And you can see I'm already breathing hard just doing one, but I'm gonna do four more real quick here. So just doing those five reps got me winded and that's kind of how I recommend that you do it. Do five reps, <clears throat> take enough time to catch your breath to go again, even if you can only do three the next time, but just keep working on it. And at some point maybe you'll get to where you can do 10 at a time and then maybe it's time to increase your weight to up the intensity a little bit. But basically it's a simple, simple exercise. It's a compound exercise. It's a high intensity interval training exercise. So it covers kind of all the bases. Gets your heart going, gets your lungs going, and builds some muscle. So now, if you can just put all those four things together and incorporate that into your lifestyle, it won't take an awful lot of your time. In fact, the time that it takes is so much more worthwhile than so many of the things that we waste our time on and you know time is precious the older you get the more you appreciate that the time that you would waste watching netflix reruns or uh scrolling endlessly through tiktok videos whatever it is that you where you waste your time it's pretty easy to find a half an hour out of every day and that's about all all of this combined would take out of your day and not even have to do it every single day. The morning routine is good to do every single day. The eating, obviously, something that you should do every single day. But this part here is only every two or three days because you'll be sore after you do it. You'll, you'll be sore probably the second day after you do it, not the first day. You'll start getting sore the first day, but you'll really be sore the second day. So you might have to wait till the third day to do it again. But regardless, as long as you methodically do this, diligently do this and incorporate it into your week, you're gonna get yourself from fat to fit over a, a period of time. It won't happen overnight. You didn't get where you are overnight, so don't expect that a week from now you've done this and you're gonna be looking like Adonis. You're not, but over time, you most certainly will. And the time's gonna pass either way. So why not pass it spending at least part of your time doing something that makes you a better version of you. If you got value from this, please share it. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching my videos.